Good morning, everyone. This is Raj Handel from uh, Venice Hybrid Tech. Uh, as you know, we make these videos to help people who are hybrid car owners and give them some information about the hybrid systems and uh, how to take care of their hybrid cars. So today in this video, I want to tell you that if you are a hybrid car owner, you must know what's wrong with your car. If, if you ever have a problem with the hybrid system, uh, most of the people, they get very nervous and get very scared. Oh, what will I do? What should I do? I, what's wrong with my car? And, uh, you know, there are a thousand questions that come to our mind when we see our dashboard, dashboard lit up with the, all these lights and warning signals. So how do you want to deal with it? Most of the people, they will run to the dealer and dealer will do a diagnostic which will, they'll charge you $150 just to do the diagnostic. And then they're going to tell you some story which you have no idea what they're talking about. Um, my experience with dealers is that uh, the dealers actually really don't have anybody who's really a qualified guy in the hybrid system. They are all normal mechanics. They don't have any uh, specific or special knowledge about the hybrid system. And then as you know, the dealers, and they say it openly, we are in the business to make money. So they're going to tell you a lot of stuff which you really don't need to do. But since you don't know what is wrong, you're just going to spend money and pay them. We here at Venice Hybrid Tech, we try to help the consumers, help them with the understanding the systems and help them to understand and save money on their repairs and taking care of their cars. So the first thing or the most important thing is to know what is wrong with your car before you even go to the mechanic or to the dealer. So the easiest way to know what is wrong with the car that as you know you have an OBD reader in every car. And uh, you can either buy an OBD scanner, which ranges from um, starting with 40 to $50 and goes up to $150. Uh, the scanner, you plug into the OBD and turn it on, and it will read and tell you the codes. And some of the readers are also capable of going on the internet and then telling you what the code means. Otherwise, you can just write down the code, go to a computer, type in the code and see what it means. Because most of the codes you see, it really doesn't mean much. It could be just a simple um, thing as you fill the gas and you didn't close the cap properly or tightly and the hybrid, check hybrid system light has come on. So it is very, very, very important. The first thing you do is to read the code. And either you can get an OBD reader or you can, buy, you can download an app on your smartphone. There are a lot of apps on the internet for OBD uh, readers. And uh, what I use uh, is an is a, uh, uh, app called Torque, T-O-R-Q-E. And uh, I like it a lot. I have uh, no vested interest in that, but I use it myself and I recommend it to you. And it has a, a free version and a, a paid version. Um, I bought a paid version because I need it for my business. But you can just get a downloaded uh, free version on your smartphone. But to use the app, you will need a OBD 
Bluetooth OBD reader. And uh, so you need to buy that uh, OBD scanner, Bluetooth, um, from, you can buy it from eBay, costs about $15. And uh, uh, actually, I'm going to show you one just now. So here is the OBD scanner, uh, which is a Bluetooth scanner. Um, the name of the company is uh, <clears throat> Conway, K-O-N-N-W-E-I. Um, I'm very happy with it. I use it all the time. It's very handy. So you're going to plug it into the OBD reader like this. And then you have to, uh, of course, um, uh, you have to turn the Bluetooth on on your phone and sync the two, your Bluetooth, uh, your, your phone and the reader. And then you open your app and uh, there are settings in the app that you have to set it to a uh, Bluetooth reader. And once you do that, then your uh, app will read the code from the car system or OBD reader. And once you know the code, then you can go on the, on, you can actually, on the phone itself, you can look up what the problem is, what, the, what it means. And uh, in a, another video, I will go through some of the uh, popular or, or uh, pop, I won't call them popular, but the common, most common codes uh, we will discuss and so that you know what it is. But basically in this video, I want to do, talk to you about how to diagnose what's the problem with your car and how to use your phone and a Bluetooth uh, reader and get to know the code and how to then go on the internet and read what it means, or what, it, what the code means. So with that, uh, that's all I wanted to cover. Uh, please uh, post any comments you like and uh, like our videos and uh, give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.